Welcome if you salam my loves marhaba habibete. So I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet, A so I don't get emotional again, and B because otherwise I could just ramble on for days. I just got back from watching Death of a Salesman and I was gonna film ignore the this is what happens when you try to uh, put lip gloss on after you've cried and there's been Indian food and yeah. Um I just went to see Death of a Salesman and I was going to film my video on it tomorrow morning but everything is so raw and so fresh that I had to sit here and film it for you guys. Um, the the line that resonates for me, it's not actually from the play but it's from the one of the official videos on the play that it says this is about the American dream and what happens when the American dream goes wrong. and. Oh my gosh, Arthur Miller is celebrated as a playwright for a reason. There's not a single one of his plays that I've seen that has not blown my mind. Like even when the acting was off, not today, but in general, this is what great playwrights do. They create a story that's so layered, that's so complex, that's so beautiful though, and like in some ways very simple. Um, oh my gosh, I was just blown away. At the end of it I was crying. Um, my foundation has not moved. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm testing out the Guerlain Jolie Tint foundation and yeah, the tangent. See why I can't sit here and talk all day? It's been doing great. Um, the foundation. <sighs> I cried. I, I bawled like a baby. Um, at one line. I was fine. I was really, really sad. And then one line at the end and I was crying. Um, there's something so beautiful about a piece of theater that's like heart-wrenching, that you leave feeling depressed but happy at the same time. Like, I think it's it's some kind of common understanding. You think, you feel like there's something universal about the human condition that's beautiful, that you're like, I can relate to. Um, and that in some ways is a beautiful thing. And so, again, it's night like, nights like this that remind me of the beauty of theater and it can speak to a part of you, really, that nothing else can, um, and it can help you escape for a moment in time. So this one was not one that I left like dancing and singing along to, um, or necessarily feeling uplifted, but it made me feel something raw and real, and in that it was incredibly beautiful. I am not going to say much more because I'm going to avoid a lot of the plot, um, but it was beautifully staged, phenomenally acted, the, the, like, the core cast was amazing. Some of the extras, um, their accents would come in and out because they're British and it's a, it's a New York based play, um, like the characters. And so, uh, but yeah, I just, ugh, I am beautifully devastated if there's such a thing. So yeah, I'm going to do some points of positivity, keep it short and sweet and go to bed. Um, so my first point of positivity is this beautiful piece of theater and getting to share it with you guys. It's a really beautiful outlet. Um, my second piece of positivity is a great uh, Indian meal I had for dinner. And then my third <laughs> point of positivity is um, Noelle kept me company during dinner and like talked me down um, from the, the like, the feeling of, like I felt really devastated and it was weird looking around me that no one else was devastated, but she kept me calm. Anyways, that's it for me today. Thank you guys for being here. Um, I'm going to bid you adieu, but not without reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys.